use a metaphor that we try to create a number of formal feedback, feedback loops where a single proposition, it might be uh, a directorial, it might be based on a certain text, uh, on some other artist's work. Uh, we feed that into our loop and that loop consists of a variety of um, creative uh, processing. Some of that might be uh, related and most of it is related to uh, exploration of, of relations within uh, the movement, particularly uh, within collective movement, uh, but then it's put to the test or fed back into a feedback loop uh, of dramaturgy mm -hmm. and uh, performative uh, settings and things like that. So we always try to uh, test individual propositions uh, through different um, creative uh, processes or capacities or skills uh, that belong to individual members of the group and uh, this is how the end product is negotiated yeah. uh, and it might not be immediately visible in the end product but mm. that also counts a lot for how we deal with um, the complexity of collective communication and bringing in yeah. um, a variety of instruments and tools which are not immediately choreographic or uh, directorial or authorial but have an alien element to them. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that was good. Working in uh, a multidisciplinary um, environment uh, allows us uh, to uh, create uh, uh, to, or to raise uh, the complexity of the structure of the final piece of work. Uh, and this is something that we are interested in. Uh, I mean, uh, all of us are creatives, but uh, perhaps we always, uh, each of us needs to be spurred on by somebody else's uh, uh, critique uh, uh, within the uh, context of the collective. So it's always about creating uh, points, little points of uh, disbalance and rehearsal uh, uh, in the materials, whether they are uh, choreographic or textual materials, and uh, bringing in new ideas uh, from the side yeah. somehow. Interesting when uh, new things come in uh, uh, because it changes the course of the work. We never never have an idea of what the work will look like and then when we start out and somewhat sometimes we even go for big shifts big changes a week or 10 days before the set premiere date uh, yeah. of the performance this piece uh, with a very strange cryptic title one poor and one zero uh, is uh, an account of a particular lack in the history of cinema, the lack that uh, was initiated by the first film ever made, Workers Leaving the Factory of the Lumiere Brothers, and that is that uh, history of cinema has often showed us workers, but always workers once they have left the factory, and never uh, or rarely workers at their work. Uh, in their collective process of production and things behind the factory gates have remained hidden for uh, the history of cinema. So uh, what we are trying to do in this performance is trying to uh, account for that, for the work that had remained hidden behind the factory gates. And at the same time we are trying to give uh, an account of what work means in the context of choreography, particularly what it means in a and age that we understand as post-Fordist, or where the society itself uh, had become the factory, where the work has become hegemonically creative and not necessarily factory-based. Uh, and we try to go back to the 70s and, and 
ponder about uh, one choreographing proposition in particular, and that is contact improvisation, um, which in aesthetical terms has become um, alienated into uh, dance expressing emotions, which in its initial proposition, as articulated by Steve Paxson, it isn't. But it is a rather, uh, it is rather a continuation of the long effort of the choreographing avant-garde to uh, emancipate choreography from an external proposition of what the dancing body should be doing while it's performing, and to give and it its yeah. own uh, autonomy to create choreography out of uh, the body's response mm -hmm. and the response of two uh, dancing bodies in, in, in the case of contact improvisation. And we try to contextualize that into this history of uh, demise of industrial work. What, why had uh, contact improvisation appeared at that particular historic moment and how can we understand it from the longer history of representation of work as exemplified in the cinema. So it's it's a complex proposition that we stage, but we always are much more interested into complexity than effect or effectivity of uh, a piece. It was difficult to grasp the complexity of it all. It there is movement going on here and video here and complexity of sound and different elements of stable, uh, multiplicity, complexity, multiple points of focus on stage. This is something that we are interested in. We want uh, members of the audience to be able to uh, uh, divert their attention uh, from what seems to be the main point of focus to, to things that are on the margin, uh, uh, viewed from the periphery, maybe especially in this performance, which somehow is uh, it is viewed from the side always. There is uh, no frontal view of uh, the uh, the way we have uh, um, structured the performance space itself, except by the camera presence.